Hello everyone and welcome to the final nine holes of the 2019 Las Vegas Challenge presented by Innova Champion Discs at the Wild Horse Golf Club. This is our PDGA National Tours opening event of 2019. I'm joined by Eagle McMahon. Eagle, we're heading into this back nine, a little more teeth to it. Hole 10, what are they looking at? Hole 10 is a par four, 741 feet. So I believe it's the longest hole we've seen so far. And basically, you're just wanting to get in the fairway and see seeing where you are on your second shot. I'm excited to see how these ladies attack it. Vanessa has been showing that she has some really great control distance. This has a lot of turn, but looks like it's fading back. And she has got a lot of distance. And from where she's at, who knows? We might see her attack the green. Yeah, I feel like your tee shot really actually determines immediately what you're going to be doing on that second shot, whether you even can think about going for the green or not. And when you're push back or maybe don't get quite as far as we see from Jessica there, that's going to almost, uh, you know, immediately give an indicator. Kelly throwing a very similar line to Vanessa. She gets a lot of that turn and the late skip at the end. She'll be in a great position. There's ultimately a green up by the left side of the basket and a cart path that can come into play. And we'll see if that matters a little later. But right now, you've got three really good looking tee shots, and Jessica, who's just a bit low on her uh, initial attempt here. Yeah, I imagine Jessica here is going to be playing a forehand that just puts her close to the green with an easy approach. Yeah. I mean, if you're splitting this hole in half, you're looking at, you know, about 375 per throw. They're a little downward slope at the end that they can play to their advantage. And we'll see if that's going to be enough for Hokum. And that's going to be a little bit short. As she, she doesn't realize where I'm standing. She mm -hmm. almost walked right into me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Callie had some good distance. And she's... She wants the birdie. It doesn't look like she gets that turned over enough. That needs to sit down. And I'm pretty sure she's safe. Yeah, she's safe there. And it looked like maybe the nose was up, or, or mm -hmm. as you said, she just didn't turn it quite enough. And we've been watching Vanessa just throw lasers out here. And this isn't any different. I really like how she's playing to that slope. Yeah, that's great. She kept the nose down. Throwing a more overstable disc, getting the flare up the hill, she'll have a look for a birdie. Jessica maybe gets a little bit too much so hyzer on her sidearm, but she still has a look for her par. Yeah, leaving herself a little tester. Here's a somewhat rare backhand <laughs> approach from that distance. That's, I think, right around Hokum's comfort zone. You know, sometimes she loves to go with the forehand and sometimes it's a backhand. I think that was about the, the edge of her backhand distance that she likes for approaches. Callie deciding to go forehand. Puts herself within 20 feet. Vanessa from probably about 40. And that is... <laughs> That's amazing right there. I, 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 I've been so impressed. I watched her play really well during the third round. Uh, you know, not really surprised by any of it, but she just feels so dialed in today. Another huge putt. Absolutely. <laughs> Vanessa, or Jessica, with a, a great putt for her par. Sarah getting a par as well. And this is Callie for par, which one down on this hole for this FBO card is, is fantastic on this hole. Yeah, Callie's had a few troubles on this front nine. I feel like she's started to clean up her, her stroker on her putt there, and she's done just that. And like you said, one down out of the four women. Pretty impressive. Here's hole 11. Hole 11 is 369 feet. There is out of bounds left. The funny thing, the grass is out of bounds on this <laughs> hole. So all the 
I guess gravel would be considered safe. And the line that most of these girls will take is the up the middle, either turnover or forehand line. Vanessa turns it over a little bit too much, catches a tree, but luckily bounces out and she'll be in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, and looking at some of that precision that you see from the forehand, there is a, a gap you have to hit when you're going right up the middle. And Jessica's done exactly that. Ellie trying to power it maybe a little bit too much. She'll have that turned over. She'll be on the right side of the fairway. She'll probably have a pretty good forehand approach from there. And Sarah looks to make a good correction off the other ladies, keeping the nose down on an Anheuser. She will be the closest of the group. And speaking of closest, I continue to watch this battle taking place, what would be for fifth place probably if the lead card remains. Jessica Weiss two down uh, on the round end overall. And Vanessa Van Dyken is down to five under through the first ten holes. The perfectly clean scorecard and there's a really good approach five under is very impressive right now she'd be competing in the mpo <laughs> division and hokum uh, has some obstruction yeah. <laughs> and wow sarah really jams in there looks like she's been working on her spin putt over the off season to be fair, I, I did maybe uh, trim out a good 30-ish to 45 seconds of her contemplating which line she was going to take. So for her to be able to still cash that putt in uh, with so much difficulty was, was incredibly impressive. And uh, we're looking at a few cleanups here for the, oh, even cordial and everything as she's picking up other people's discs. Uh, again, one down on, on this hole, pretty impressive. Let's head over to 12. Absolutely. Hole 12 is 396 feet. You have out of bounds on the right side. And if you do find yourself on the left, you have the out of bounds green. Let's see what Sarah decides to do. She shows her control sidearm. She plays it up on top of the hill. And <laughs> she was cheering because she stayed away from the a uh, bunker that you can find on the left side of that hill that's oh, there kind is of a blind. There is oh, a yeah. bunker there. Okay. <laughs> she definitely is aware of it. So that's why she was doing a little bit of a cheer because she was uh, stayed away from it and she's safe. And uh, Vanessa, this is kind of a textbook throw. You're just trying to throw it low, power it right up the middle. Maybe get a little ground skip uh, as you're coming in. Yeah, that shot by Vanessa there was pretty much picture perfect. And this looks to be the same, really good height, <laughs> a little bit of skip. She'll find herself just behind uh, Vanessa, but still a very good shot. And another great angle. Yeah, absolutely, this just needs to hit and sit. Those are some great drives. Sarah's going to have the toughest approach probably here as she's still playing up, we'll say, the left side of this fairway. And a little forehand puts her within 15. Great forehand approach there. We're going to see more of Callie feet. on the on the tour this year. She's out there uh, what I believe is full time. So I think the, this is not going to be the last we're going to see of her. She's got a great game. Feels like she's got a great mental game always really positive so it's uh, it was great watching her for the first time this weekend and getting her on film absolutely she's definitely a, an up-and-comer demonstrating her very smooth form as well as Vanessa <laughs> demonstrating that she's still on fire knocking down her putt inside the circle it looks like these ladies will be cleaning up their pars yeah, you almost need exceptional distance to be able to get this one on in the FPO division. Uh, you, you think of maybe a Jen Allen or a Paige Pierce that can force one all the way up there. Uh, otherwise, I think walking away with a three is uh, exactly what you're trying to do. No harm, no foul there. Hole 13 is 387 feet uphill with a bunker right in front of the basket, out of bounds on the right. And if you, for some reason, don't clear the initial cart path, 
believe that there's a drop zone or you have to re-tee. So getting it safe on this initial tee shot is very important. And it looks like Sarah does that. She wasn't so sure though. That's why you heard kind of the grunt from her, the moan, because she was worried that she was pushing that OB line on the right side because she couldn't see it. And we find that she is in bounds and uh, Vanessa also in bounds right in the middle of the fairway, no problem. We saw a little bit of a uh, wind from that flag as well. And that, this is actually a pretty technical shot too. If you decide to take the low route, which most of these ladies are, you could easily clip a tree here and find yourself out of bounds on the tee shot. But luckily all these ladies throw a nice shot up on the flat. And they will all be safe with chances to get their pars. And we said 387. Oh. Just a bit short for Jessica, but effective distance has to be at least 425 off the tee. Is that, is that a fair statement? Maybe more? Yeah, maybe even more. It is, is definitely a big throw, even for the MPO division. Uh, you'll, you'll see a lot of players struggling to get it there in the air, and it makes it even more difficult with this sand trap. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. There's a trick shot for you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> she kind of knows she got away with one there. She's chuckling, both to myself and Robin. <laughs> and Vanessa is going jump, putt, slash throw. And she puts it right under the basket. So Vanessa, who I feel like has just been really uh, doing everything right, walks away here with the par. And she remains at five under through now 13 holes. I apologize if I said Jessica, I meant Vanessa. They're almost the same name. Uh, it's yeah, it's it, very it, close. To be fair, it's a little early. It's been a long week. Vegas and uh, Arizona both kind of wearing on everybody as we're starting off the season. And they play the hazards here, and this is really the first time we're seeing it. They play the sand trap hazards as uh, you get a penalty stroke, but you still play from that very spot. So right now she's actually putting for what would be her four. This whole famously ace by Macbeth a few years ago, is that right? Yup, 2017. Paul Macbeth made Sports Center. It was the final round and he was he made a good run. But <laughs> Ricky Wysocki still was able to, to oh, take it. Spoilers, home. bro. What oh. are you come on? You're spoiling. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Let's take a look at 14. Full 14 is par four, 795 feet. Really big crush out there. The lo I believe the longest hole on the end of a course. And basically this is just throw it as far as you can. There's not too many out of bounds consequences. Maybe a little bit on the right side, a little bit on the left. Sarah will be safe on her initial tee shot. Let's see. At nearly 800 feet, I don't think anyone would be mad if they walked away with a four here. And Vanessa, maybe a little too much turn on that. I mean, it's safe and it's low. Uh, I think she could have pushed that left side a little bit more if she wanted to. Yeah, she does get a good low penetrating shot. And these ladies, they're, I think they're more focusing on placement for this first shot just because it is, it's such a long hole just to have, make sure that they're looking sh straight at the fairway on their second shot is is key. You see that snow-capped mountain in the background, something that you're not used to seeing here in <laughs> Vegas. Just like you said, playing for placement, control, just trying to do everything you can to set yourself up to possibly walk away with that par four. Callie throwing a nice, nice shot that skipping a little bit left, but she'll have a, a backhand hyzer approach. Not sure if she knows how to throw those. She throws no. such perfect forehand approaches. We'll see what she's left with. And Vanessa, we've seen her be very aggressive and effective, and it looks like she was fully committed to just putting it up there and trying to place herself for that par. 
this comes out a little bit early. Skip doesn't help, and sure enough, she actually finds herself out of bounds. Yeah, that's that's a frustrating mistake on a hole like this where you have so much open space to work with. But she recovers well. And then she gets that roll she gets away. That roll. Yeah, things are not going her way here on this particular hole, hole 14. Vanessa is going putter approach. And she's going to get her par, which is absolutely fantastic. She keeps her hot streak alive. Standstill backhand by Kelly. Looks to be pretty effective. I think back to hole six. That's probably about the same power that she needed on six mm -hmm. when she parked it. Sarah putting it real close to the basket. Nice. Vanessa wow. <laughs> with a good bogey save. Jessica, that uh, uh, makes for bogey, as you said, after the OB stroke. Callie with a good par. Looks that Sarah will do the same. Now we're moving on to hole 15. Love getting outside and challenging yourself to become better? How about spending time with family and friends? We're just marveling at the pure joy of flight. Then you've come to the right place at the right time. Join the PDGA. Eagle, for me, it's a new PDGA commercial. <laughs> Here's hole 15. Hole 15 is 459 feet. It's a par three. And there, it, there is some out of bounds on the far left side and if these players kind of early early release a forehand there is out of bounds on the right but Sarah will have no problem clearing that I really wish I knew what disc she was throwing there I imagine it to be maybe like a, a punisher or a thrasher perhaps but whatever it is she's throwing it very well Find herself right in the middle of the fairway. Vanessa getting a really good connection on this forehand. As uh, Jessica just threw, we actually see four different manufacturers represented here on this chase card, which is great to see as well. Uh, so much diversity out there and uh, all very different styles from the four players that we have, including a world champion, in Sarah Holcomb's 2012 World Championship that she has to her name. Sarah from probably about 150 feet. Comes up just short, but she's still within probably 20 feet. And after seeing the back-to-back -back bogeys on 13 and 14, you're looking at the score to see that Weiss and Van Dyken are all tied up and wow, Vanessa's on that right side. She's gonna leave herself a little bit of a tester and more so kind of an awkward putt being you know, on that hillside uh, from the back side of the hillside where Jessica there's in the front side. So this is to save her par. It's no problem though. <laughs> Did you really have a doubt at this point? She is playing so well right now with authority. So her scorecard remains clean. No bogeys, five under uh, with just a couple holes left to play. Hokum connected on her par save. So uh, again at 459 with a little bit of danger, if, if you said to all four of these women, hey, you're gonna play this course twice you know are you okay with taking a three both times I think they would all say sure yeah let's move on right yeah absolutely most men are only taking threes on this hole because <laughs> it just even from a longer thrower's perspective it is an awkward hole and just something about it that you don't really ever get a great birdie luck hole 16 is 765 feet it plays it plays uphill and from the tee, 
you have to carry probably a hundred and maybe like 125, 150 feet of out of bounds before you find yourself safe. So Sarah, probably well aware of that, she just wants to get into that right, that right fairway, making sure she's safe so she can play the hole. With no worries. Vanessa throwing this pink disc again. As you said, there is a little bit of a tunnel here that you're actually trying to hit and uh, her lines have just been spot on at this point. That's exactly uh, what she was trying to do there. Yeah, she gets past that one kind of bushy tree in the middle, and that's really good marker. If you're able to get past that, you're, I think that's a good standard for a good shot. It turns over, but comes back nicely. Jessica. Looks to be pretty aggressive. There it is, it's past that tree, so that's a great shot by her. And you see the third card still on the hole up in front of them. Actually, it looks like they're just uh, peeling back from the hole as they've completed. It's a Sunday, it's been a wild weekend in Vegas with snow and temps in the 30s, some high winds, some no winds, a little bit of everything out here, and uh, we're trying to close out this first national tour event of the year. Callie, uh, been very impressive. She's had a few hiccups on the green so far, but uh, otherwise very impressive game overall. Absolutely, she has really impressed me in terms of her form, her sidearm approach, and she's definitely one to look out for uh, as the year goes on. I've also loved her uh, mental agility throughout the weekend. Anytime she's had a struggle, she keeps any or all frustration uh, all within, and uh, that's great to see her mental composure as well. Vanessa playing smart, throwing more overstable disc, pitching, pitching up before the green. And Sarah plays off that short grass, off the green that's uh, otherwise considered out of bounds, but gets a good skip off of it. Maybe a little bit right from where she'd like to be. Here's Callie with a backhand standstill. Uh, it's not bad. She'll, she'll have about 20 to 25 feet. I think angle is so crucial here. A lot of these baskets are up on hillsides when they're throwing their approaches, and you want to be as flat as possible to prevent any kind of real uh, roll away. Oh, that left side tree. It looked like she had a really good angle. Otherwise, Holcomb's got a little work to do for the par. Yeah, she's probably just at circles edge and that needs to sit down and it looks like it did looks to be that the wind is kicking up just a little bit a little bit of a right to left doesn't bother Jessica though not at all we're probably pushing about 11 maybe 11 30 in the morning right now this being the nicest day out of the four that we've had as we're wrapping up the weekend Callie has that one connects easily for her par. Vanessa to keep her bogey-free streak alive. Very impressive. So her and Jessica still knotted up at even. They've kind of distanced themselves from Sarah and Callie sits at plus 13, a little bit off the pace with a rough round so far, but we've got two holes left to play. Here's hole 17. Hole 17 is 475 feet, or 57 feet, my bad. And it is, if you can keep it on the right side, out of the bushes, it really isn't too difficult, but the early release is always your enemy on this hole. And Vanessa forces a shot down the right side, and for the FPO division, that's pretty much perfect. Well played, here's Jessica. We'll see if she can get any more distance than that, but it's kind of what you're looking to do. 
That's pushing that right side. And uh, looks like she stayed clear of the OB that you could find over there. Callie has it leaking a little bit left. That needs to curl. And that's uh, on the sidewalk. Uh, and it... The dreaded a, red. There's a curve there, so that did not allow it to come back in balance, unfortunately. And the sidearm is a really great opportunity here just because it fades back right at the end. And Sarah looks like She's right in the middle of the two golf tee pads. Kelly going Knocked wide spike hyzer and then just gets a very yeah. unfortunate roll. I feel like you can be aggressive on this approach shot, but you still have to place it well wow. as Sarah smacks it right off the uh, base of the basket. Jessica with a, kind of a, a scramble. It looks like she lays it pretty close. And Vanessa's distance has just impressed me so much today. On her approach shots, she is jump putting, where a lot of the other ladies are still forced to throw. So all around, her game has impressed me so much today. And that is a great way to stop the bleeding there for Callie. It's a fantastic putt right there for Bogey. And here's Hokum for her. Good looking par save there. Yeah, good job by Sarah. And Jessica had that good approach out of the trees. I believe both her and Sarah drew metal on their approach shots, so uh, very impressive. Hopefully they can both walk away with the same result. Nice par by Jessica. And they are, and that looks like that'll keep Jessica and Vanessa knotted up, assuming Vanessa can complete the hole. I really don't have much doubt at this point. She's been so solid all day. Yeah, absolutely. This new Discraft disc's really serving, serving her well. Hole 18, the finishing hole, what do we got? Yeah, the final hole, 675 feet, par four, and it's a very picturesque hole. You have water on both sides of the fairway, and yeah, I think these ladies are just trying to throw an approach shot. Maybe Vanessa is going aggressive. She could get here in three if she goes aggressive off her first shot, but it looks like she is Playing a little bit more conservative, and it's green. She gets the green flag. Now, and you have to be thinking, you know, I'm, I'm having a great round. I'm doing really well. You know, do, how aggressive do you want to be on this final hole? Or are you just happy to, you know, hopefully walk away bogey-free? Absolutely. Oh, and pushing. If and I believe, <laughs> I believe the cart path is safe on this hole for a certain portion. So there isn't really a worry there for her. Sarah just puts it pretty much right where you want it. Yeah, this is really going to be, I, I, I think, a, a placement tee shot to set yourself up uh, and probably just trying to walk away with a par here. I don't think anyone, again, would be mad if they had a par on this hole. Hopefully stress-free at that. And that curls just before the water. I'm excited to see how these ladies approach this next shot. It looks like they'll... Sarah didn't like it, but she really should because that's really right where you want to be. Yeah, that sets her up for a really great third shot. The basket is kind of like in this little bowl, so the, that makes the approaching a little bit easier. Now, this is a somewhat shorter basket than we've seen in years past. Is that correct? They've kind of moved it a little bit more accessible? Yeah. When I first started playing this tournament, the basket was actually pushed up another maybe 50 feet. So they brought it a little bit closer. This needs to sit. Yeah, we've seen her play so flawless. And, and oh, <laughs> yep. The disc golf gods are on her side today. 
net or Jessica going aggressive. This looks. Oh, and that I believe is trouble. Out of, yeah. out of bounds. There's the red flag again. Final thanks to all the spotters and the tournament staff and the crews out here making this national tour event go as smoothly as it did. Of course, the PDGA and our supporting coverage sponsor in Throw Pink. Make sure you check them out, throwpink.com. Little meat on uh, the bone left there for Sarah on that, uh, what will be her par shot. And Callie hitting metal. So Vanessa has a really good backstop, so she's probably trying to run this for position, but still, that'll that'll get her par. So assuming Vanessa makes her putt, Jessica needs to throw this in in order to stay tied. Oh, oh. solid run too. She definitely yeah. gave it a look. I want to thank Sarah Holcomb, of course, for joining in round one and two commentary. She's a huge advocate for women's side and great way to finish a tournament. Yeah, great putt there by Sarah. It always feels nice ending on a good note like that. And yeah. that's very impressive. A bogey-free five under for Vanessa. That's probably going to jump her quite a bit in the standings. Awesome to see. So thank you, Eagle McMahon. Thank you to Innova, the PDGA, Throw Pink, and everyone else involved. It was a great event. I catch up with Vanessa in her hot round right now as we close out the 2019 Las Vegas Challenge. I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and that was my video blog. I've now been joined by Vanessa Van Dyke in the hottest round out here during their fourth and final round. Two words come to mind. Dialed, focused. Do you, do you have others that you could possibly describe that round? Um, I felt really confident with my driving off the tee. I felt really accurate and um, I'm really liking the nuke and I felt like even with the slight wind, no matter what, uh, like how strong it was or not, when I threw that, it wasn't going to flip and it wasn't going to fade too much. It would just be perfect. So I felt really confident having that disc in my bag and also, um, even though it might not have looked like it, uh, I was really nervous for my putts, especially the short putts, but I just tried to ignore those weird emotions and kind of power through it anyways, and it worked, so. Really there was, uh, you say confident, and that's another great word, I think of also flawless, but when I'm watching you putt, it was dead center, firm every single time, so you definitely were suppressing any emotions yeah. of, of non-confidence, that's yeah. for sure. Uh, you've had a switch over to Discraft this year. Obviously, you're comfortable yeah. with the disc now. Uh, what can we look forward to in 2019? Um, I'm just really looking forward to improving my game and seeing where that takes me. I mean, I felt like I wasn't too many strokes off the win this time, so I'm excited to see, like, to battle it out with all the other really talented women. So I was watching the scores thanks to you, Disc, but. I don't think you were, is that correct? You weren't watching the scores as no, they were unfolding? No, no. Uh, is that clearly a, maybe a strategy of yours that you don't yeah. worry about the scores? Yeah, I don't, I mean, I, I guess it could work for you or against you, but in my opinion, I feel like the scoring doesn't matter. I'm just gonna play as best as I can and the outcome doesn't matter to me. Like, this is what I do and what other people are doing isn't gonna change what I'm doing. I couldn't agree more. I think that's very eloquently put. Well, we're going to close things out here. This is the FPO chase card throughout the entire weekend. Of course, I want to thank Throw Pink, who is a huge supporter of this coverage, along with the PDGA and of a champion disc for putting on this national tour event. Uh, Vanessa, again, one of the hottest rounds that I filmed all weekend. I'm looking forward to more great golf throughout the season. Vanessa Van Dyken, we'll catch you guys next time.